Oh, oh, Timmy, there you are. Yeah. Sorry, I'm late. Yeah, there's a brush fire outside. Oh, oh my, are you okay? Should, should, should you be evacuating? Dr. Nielsen, if I evacuated every time I saw a little forest fire, I'd never get anything done. Okay, um, just gonna make a quick, uh, <laughs> um, okay, uh, so Timmy, um, as, you, as you keep a watchful eye out the window, um, why did you wanna see me? Well, Doc, you see, I grew up with a beautiful collie dog named Lassie, and my, my world pretty much revolved around her. Now, all these years later, you know, I'm feeling the pangs of wanting another dog. Well, that seems perfectly natural. Well, it was a really, really, really big commitment. Oh, well, you know, pets are. Um, how old were you when you got Lassie? I was um, seven. Yeah, the Miller family, well, they found me hiding in the barn and took me in. So you see, at first, Lassie was, well, technically Jeff's dog. Okay, it's, it's, excuse me. Uh, they, they took you in. Mm -hmm. you, you, you didn't have parents? No, not at first. But when the Millers moved to town, the Martins took over the farm. And the deal, well, the Martins kept me and the dog. Well, they became my parents. In the deal, the, 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 the Martins kept you and the dog. Uh, did, they, did they legally adopt you? Probably. But to be honest, there wasn't a lot of paperwork involved. Uh-huh, uh-huh, okay. Uh, and, and the Martins were, were, um, were good to you? Oh, yeah, terrific. But about the time I was entering, you know, those awkward teen years, mom ended up going to outer space. You're saying your mother was an astronaut? Well, yeah, later she was. Only she got lost. Your mother was lost in space? Exactly. She had a bad sense of direction. Uh, okay, we're gonna oof, just to circle back round to that. Um, so, um, tell me more about Lassie. She was the best, friendly, smart, but also very tough. Hmm. Mm. How so? Well, she got shot several times. You know, mostly with bullets. Once with an arrow, hit by a car, hit by a rock, and got amnesia. I can't count how many times she almost drowned. Should I go on? I, I am riveted. One time she fell out of the baggage car of a train and had to find her way back home. It was almost 600 miles all on her own. One time she and I were in a runaway balloon and we landed in the middle of nowhere. I had to build a raft and I made it back home, but Lassie, she was rescued by a deaf mute Native American. More? There's more? I'm just getting started. He could be fierce when he wanted to be. He? Oh, I'm sorry, my bad. You see, Lassie's pronouns were she and her, but Doc, I grew up on a farm and I know what I saw down there. Lassie, Lassie was a male who preferred female pronouns? You, let's just say that she was um, gender fluid before it was trendy. Uh huh. I see. I see. Okay. Um. Huh. Continuing. Uh, you described her as fierce. Well, if Lassie saw a bad guy, she would attack. I mean, totally go to town on him. Bad guy. What? Uh, what is your definition of a bad guy? You know, like bank robbers, cheaters at the county fair, men who tell fibs. Lassie would chew them up really good. And that was a positive thing. For sure, Lassie was a big help. I mean, every time I found an escaped elephant from the circus or a penguin would fall off a truck, she was always there to lend a paw. A lot of a lot of elephants escape from the circus to your to your farm. Well, heck yes! One time I even got trapped in quicksand. Yeah, which doesn't happen that much anymore. But when I was a kid, it was the thing. Yeah, I was stuck. 
But lastly, she saved me before a hungry wolf could eat me. Quicksand. Yeah, quick. Well, how, how, how fortunate for you. Uh-huh. Right. And she saved a stray pony or a sheep or a cow from a forest fire like every other week. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Well. <laughs> I knew you were going to bring that up. Bring what up? The well. The old Timmy's in the well. Wait, I, I've heard that. Like, wait, you, you're the Timmy from Timmy's in the well? Yep. Only thing is, it didn't happen. I fell down an old mine shaft and fell into the cellar of an abandoned house, but I never fell down a stupid well. Still, everybody thinks they remember that. And it really bugs me. Well, at this point, you might just want to go with it. <sighs> Dr. Nielsen, that would be a fib. And fibbers get dog bites. I stand corrected. Uh huh. So what ultimately happened to Lassie? Well, when I was about uh, 14, my family, we all went camping. And then our boat capsized. We thought Lassie drowned again. But she was rescued by a forest ranger. And then around that time, Dad announced that we were moving to Australia. Why? Because you hadn't rescued a kangaroo yet? Hmm. Yeah, maybe. But anyway, Lassie would have had to have been quarantined for six months if she went with us. So that ranger guy got her. Uh-huh. That makes sense. Uh, so, okay, so if, if I have the timeline correct, in, in, instead of going to Australia, your mother got lost in space instead. I told you she had a bad sense of direction. So, Doc, what do you think? Am I ready for another dog? Oh, uh, Timmy, uh, you know, at, at this point in the therapy process, I, I am going to recommend that, uh, that, that you explore the possibility that you might enjoy being a cat person. Interesting. Well, you're giving me something to think about. And well, I do see a kitten up a tree and, and that, that brush fire is getting pretty close. Maybe I should go save it? Excellent idea. Thanks, Doc. Probably adopted. Dog with gender fluid. (laughs) Escaping circus elephants. How is falling down a well the one thing he didn't do? (laughs) 